Hi everyone, I'm Hernan, technical expert at Algo. Today, we're diving into the 8450 IP console. It's a device designed to streamline daily announcements and enhance emergency communications. Let's start with an overview. The 8450 was designed with flexibility and customization at its core for various communication needs of education, healthcare, and other facilities that require dependable paging systems. The input device features a 10.1 inch LCD touchscreen with a highly configurable interface to activate paging or emergency alerts. Daily announcements can be made using the gooseneck microphone, while customizable touchscreen buttons provide quick access to pre-recorded messages, zone-based paging, and alert activation. The back lid action button offers further control with configurable options like push to talk, screen activation, or screen lock. With native support for SIP, multicast, and API commands, the 8450 integrates seamlessly into virtually any communication system. Even if the phone system goes down, the console's built-in multicast functionality ensures reliable paging redundancy as long as the network remains online. Configurable through a web interface and designed to mount to a desk or a rack or even a wall, the 8450 is built to adapt to any IP paging environment. Now, let's take a closer look at how the IP console works, starting with its interface. When the device is turned on, you'll see the home screen, typically blank by default. Ours looks a bit different, as we've set up custom screens that we'll review later. The console comes equipped with multiple default screens. Today, we'll go through the home screen, directory, paging, emergency, and settings. The home, paging, emergency, and any of the custom screens that you are using can be configured with up to 16 buttons, each capable of performing up to nine different actions. Some of these actions include one-way SIP call to a pre-configurable extension, multicast with tone, and start emergency alert as seen in the 8450 web UI. This customization allows users to tailor the console to fit their organization's specific needs, providing flexibility and control. As you can see, we're using this navigation bar to move between screens. The quick touch menu makes switching between screens easy and intuitive. Now we're on the paging screen, which allows users to initiate mic multicast to specific zones or areas where announcements need to be heard, like different floors, departments, or sections within a school. Users can broadcast live messages or announcements directly, providing immediate communication capabilities for important messages. There's also a delayed paging feature, which broadcasts the message immediately after it's recorded. This can be done by creating a custom screen, which you can see here. For example, when I press this button, record, and hit send, the audio will play through the speaker. Hello. Hello. The directory screen offers a searchable and scrollable view with a list of zones and extensions. This makes it easy to find your desired destination. Both paging and directory views serve the same purpose. It's just about what works best for you. To initiate emergency alerts, users can navigate to the emergency screen. Pre-recorded announcements can be set up to ensure timely and urgent communication during emergencies. As you can see, these are all default buttons. But keep in mind, these can be tailored to your environment, like creating a code blue for a hospital. Let's go through the lockdown example. This is a lockdown announcement. A threat has been identified near or within the facility. All must immediately secure themselves in the nearest room or safe location, lock all doors, and remain silent. Await further instruction. To control which zones you can page during an emergency, navigate to the Advanced Settings tab and select Emergency Paging in the web UI. As mentioned earlier, users also have the option to configure up to 20 custom screens. To set this up in the web UI, go to Basic Settings, Display, Global Display Settings, Number of Custom Screens. There are three screen types, Buttons, Recordings, and Directory. If you choose Recordings in the web UI, users can manage and play back pre-recorded messages or announcements, such as emergency alerts, general information, or routine notifications directly from the console. Let's review how. I created this custom screen in the web UI. Here's a pre-recorded message. This is a test audio. Overall, this is a useful feature for routine announcements or scheduled messages. The tactile backlit action button can be configured for various functions, such as push to talk, screen activation, or screen lock. 
Users can also configure a second button action under additional features, input, action button, double press. For example, I've already configured the 8450 in the web UI to do a one-way SIP call with a dial pad with one press and a screen lock with a double press. Here's how a single press looks like. Brings up my dial pad. And here's a double press. Locks the screen. Another useful feature is the password setting, which allows users to name and configure up to five access levels. These settings can restrict access to features like the lock screen and any buttons protected by a passcode. This is important for situational awareness, the ability to understand what's happening across a facility at any given moment. With clearly defined access levels, this feature prevents unauthorized users from interrupting critical actions, such as disabling an emergency state from a console they shouldn't have access to. For example, if you want to grant access to the console and paging functions, but not the emergency functions for certain users, you can enable button protection modes like disabled, passcode, or confirm. So right now, I can move to my directory or paging screens, but I cannot get into my emergency screen without dialing in my passcode. Once I dial in the passcode, I actually get into the screen. This added layer of protection helps prevent unintentional triggers or intentional misuse of the device. What makes the 8450 truly powerful is how customizable it is through the web UI. From visual settings to functional integrations, nearly every aspect of the console can be tailored to your environment. Users can customize the display settings, apply themes, reposition elements like the clock, change backgrounds, and select certain colors to ensure ADA compliance. For more advanced integrations, the 8450 can also send API requests upon initiating or ending an action. This is particularly useful for triggering tones, strobes, or screens. From managing daily school announcements and coordinating emergency responses to overseeing communications across retail, healthcare, offices, and industrial environments, the 8450 IP console is designed to meet the diverse communication needs of any organization that demands speed, reliability, and control. To learn more, visit algosolutions.com 8450. Thanks for tuning in.